my plank strip uh, from the nine core regions. So uh, if you don't have these, you're not going to be able, you won't understand. You won't have the core stabilization or optimization. So you really do need to see a right balance professional to get these numbers. Now that we have stabilization and op optimization of the core, which basically means that my shoulders uh, are level, my hips are level, I am, uh, am, I can go into any posture, any grip, and my hips will remain level. What that means is that your stance widths, no matter how you grip the club, or what stance width you assume, your hips are going to be square. You'll be square to the line you're set up to. However, you still must have the matching power spot to match the core region stance width. So, <clears throat> one other thing I want to show you now is once you have those matching stance widths and matching the power spot, notice how my hands hang exactly the same. I want to pinch my shoulder blades together as I stand here. Notice how my hands hang exactly the same. I'm on a uh, mid-core number. Now I'm going to go to a lower core number, pinch my shoulder blades, and notice how they hang exactly the same, but they're rotated out a little more. That was a, that's, the first one was a middle core number, number five. This is number one, lower core pelvic floor. Now I'm going to go to nine, very upper core number, and I'll pinch my shoulder blades together once again, that's an important concept you'll understand in a moment. But notice how my hands hang exactly the same, okay? So, if I go into my posture, notice I'm on an upper core number, and I'm going to show you this down the line in just a moment, notice how my hands hang, okay? If I get rolled with my shoulders, you'll notice how my hands rotate in. This is a very important concept, full swing and putter. So I'll go to a mid-core number, my setup, hands hang exactly the same, but I let my shoulders roll forward and notice how they still hang the same, but there's more internal rotation. And this is a low core number. And notice how my hands hang, let the shoulders relax, roll forward. And you'll notice when I go down the line now, doing that same thing, let me see if I can get set up to the camera here. So. Now I'm going to go to region, uh, we'll start with region 9 again. So watch, watch my path here. Watch my path as I get set. Notice how, how flat my back is and notice the path. That path is very true. Now I'm just simply, all I'm going to do is roll my shoulders forward a little bit and now my path. You can see the difference in the path. I want to get those shoulders back. You don't want to create tension in doing this. Just want the shoulders back, comfortable, and now you'll see the change in the path. This path is going to be true with putter. It's going to be true with full swing. doesn't matter how deep I go here, but that path stays the same. So now I'll go to region 5. Same thing. Notice how flat my back is. So we've you know, over the years in teaching, we've talked a lot about posture. Roll the shoulders forward, and all of a sudden this path changes. So no matter where I go, my arms and hands, once I have the stabilization and optimization, my hands are going to hang the same, but setting that back position, you'll see the change in the path in the full swing as well as with the putter. So let's take a look at it now, lastly, with a putter. So I'm going to go mid-core. I get my power spot set on the back of the putter and notice how flat my back is and notice this path. path is pretty solid. Relax, roll my shoulders forward and now I'm, I'm actually seeing, starting to see a little loop. So work with that. If you've been to see a right balance professional, you'll know what your stance widths need to be and you'll know what your power spots need to be. Once again, doesn't matter. You'll see, yeah, my hips are square. I hear all the time from my students. Well, does that mean I can play from anywhere? Because no matter how I grip the club, my hips are going to be square. No matter how I set my posture, my hips are going to be square. The answer to that is no. You have to have the power spot set. You need to have the matching stance with bicorn region. But just remember, 
you want to just, it just takes a little bit of a pinch of the shoulder blades together here. And then I go into my setup. You'll see the difference. Notice how flat my back is now versus now. This is what we see, I see in most of my students, is this. I've seen it in my tour players coming in. Just had one in today, and that's what we worked with. Full swing and putter. So you want to make sure you're checking that. So even though your arms and hands will hang the same, you are going to need to just set a flat back. And you do so with a very subtle pinch those shoulder blades together. It's it's one of the, it's two of the exercises you're doing for stabilization and optimization are doing exactly that. So you're simply you're not creating tension. Please remember that. No tension. Be relaxed. Bench shoulder blades together, go into that setup, and you're going to have a much truer path.